So what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I am Anand Sharma and you are watching Anand Learnings. So guys, today we are going to be continuing with heat and its effects from science. In the previous video, we discussed about the effects of heat, the history of heat, who were the finders of heat, etc. etc. Make sure to go watch that video after this one if you haven't watched it yet. The link will be in the description. So let's get into today's video. Today we are going to be starting off with expansion. Now when you heat a substance, say a piece of iron, the molecules of that piece of iron are going to start vibrating faster and faster. This is because of the heat provided to it. Now because of this vibration, the distance between the molecules of the piece of iron increases which means that the volume of the piece of iron also increases. This is known as expansion. Let's do an activity to show expansion in solids. For this you are going to be needing a ring and a ball apparatus which looks something like this and consists of an iron ball connected to an iron chain and a ring. At first you are going to be noticing that the ball can pass easily through the ring. This is because there is no heat provided to the ball. When we heat the ball up, the, the ball expands and it volu its volume increases which makes it unable to pass through the ball pass through the ring as it did earlier. When you cool the ball down again, it's going to pass through the ring as it did earlier. Now, different solids expand differently on the same amount of heat provided to them. For example, iron and brass expand differently on the same amount of heat provided to them. Let's talk about expansion in liquids. For this activity, you're going to be needing a beaker, a tube uh, and a cork. Fill the beaker up with water. Place the tube inside it and put the cork on top. Now you will notice that a little bit of water goes up the tube. Now heat the water up. You will notice that the water expands and it goes up the tube and almost overflows. This is because liquids expand a lot more than solids because the molecules are not tightly packed. Just as solids, different liquids expand differently on the same amount of heat provided to them. For example, water and alcohol are going to expand differently on a temperature of 30 degrees Celsius which is provided to them. Now, to talk about expansion in gases, you all must have used a pressure cooker while cooking. In the pressure cooker, a little bit of air gets trapped inside. Now, when you heat the pressure cooker to cook your food, the air expands by a lot because the air molecules are not tightly packed. So, it expands way more than liquids and solids. Now, this vessel right here is provided to remove the pressure of the air. And if this vessel is not provided, the pressure cooker is going to blast. Let's see how is expansion helpful to us. Now, in an automatic fire alarm, it uses the fact that different solids expand differently. The alarm contains two metal strips, one of iron and one of brass, which are nicely bolted together. This kind of strip is known as a bimetallic strip. Now, when this strip gets heated because of the fire, the circuit completes because the brass expands more and it leans on top of iron which makes the iron touch the circuit and complete it. Now, because of this circuit is completed, the fire alarm goes off and the people are alarmed that there is a fire going on somewhere. Now, when the fire is put out, the strip cools down and becomes straight again and the alarm turns off. Guys, that is going to do it for today. Thanks for watching. Please like the video, subscribe and if you have any queries, ask them in the comments down below. Goodbye.